And lettuce is not safe to eat right now, and that means do not eat any kind of romaine lettuce. The CDC says the lettuce could be contaminated with E. coli, and if you have some, throw it out. Yeah, grocery stores and restaurants around the country are doing just that. Tonight, David Heifel talked with an expert about how lettuce can get contaminated and why just washing it isn't good enough. David. Yeah, Ken and Susan, if this sounds familiar, that's because there have been previous warnings about romaine. But this outbreak is new. At least 32 people in a 11 states have gotten sick. Fortunately, no one has died. With Thanksgiving just days away, if your holiday menu was going to include romaine lettuce, think again. Now, especially with family members and everybody coming over, we don't want to risk any possible problems. I did see the warning come up on my cell phone. It popped up like on a CNN news. So we had romaine lettuce in the refrigerator that we're going to have to throw away now. You don't have any at home, do you? No, I don't. Not right now. Is it, but it's sometimes you do buy it. Oh, yes, I like it. The alert from the CDC covers all types and brands because they haven't been able to track down a common source. Now this applies to heads of romaine, also hearts of romaine, romaine that's been chopped up, even romaine that's part of a salad mix. Both Giant Eagle and Shop and Save tell us they've removed romaine from their shelves. And we found these signs at the Chipotle along McKnight Road. The chain is among the restaurants no longer serving it as a precaution. Something went wrong here. We're not sure what. I talked with an expert at Penn State's College of Agricultural Sciences about how these outbreaks typically happen. It's usually associated with water, water that's used for irrigation, um, or uh, washing the produce. In an earlier case, water passed through a cattle holding area and became contaminated with animal feces. And contaminants are so small, washing the lettuce isn't good enough. I mean, you could boil it, that's fine, but you don't want boiled romaine lettuce. So, <clears throat> as uh, produce is contaminated, it's extremely difficult to wash off all of the uh, bacteria. Symptoms of an E. coli infection are bloody diarrhea and stomach cramps, and that normally happens three to four days after eating the food. Not only is the advice to toss out romaine, but also clean the drawers or shelves in the refrigerator where it was stored.